So this is the Nikon ZF and it's probably the closest camera you're going to get to a film-like camera that's digital but also full frame without, you know, sacrificing your kids' college tuition or your marriage. I don't have either, but is this camera good enough for me to personally switch from my Fujifilm cameras? This is my Nikon FM3A, and the resemblance to the Nikon ZF is pretty uncanny. The weight as well is quite similar, that's thanks to this brass body. So in theory, over the years of usage, this camera will form a nice patina on the body. Um, the only caveat being, assuming you're keeping this camera for so many years and using it, every day, but the camera definitely weighs a lot heavier than my X-T5. There's one nitpick about this camera, and it's the design of this flip out screen. I don't like it. I don't know why they did it with this camera, I'll be honest. You know, you see flip out screens on a lot of cameras these days, um, and that's thanks to, you know, this influx, I guess, of video content creation. A lot of people want to get into video now, so a lot of cameras are trying to put their feet in both worlds, both the photo and video world. With a camera like this, though, that's so clearly designed to be, like, photography-focused, I don't know why they did it. I wish they went with the approach that the X-T5 went with, a flip-up screen that only goes up and out to the side for vertical framing. And that camera, the X-T5, was purposely designed that way because it was taking that photo first approach. And I feel like this camera is kind of saying the same thing with just going off by the fact that it's literally designed to look like a Nikon FM. But there are things like this flip out screen that just say that, you know, they're trying to also appease the, the video creators as well which I don't really think they had to do with this particular camera. Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know why I had to get that off my chest first, but enough going on about that. Let's actually shoot with this camera. Great day. Too. Each of these batteries is $69. Not a fan of that. Since I'm by Penn Station, I figured I'd just shoot around here first. Today I'm using this special edition 40mm lens. I really love how compact it is and it's clearly designed for this camera, right? I really wish there was an aperture ring on this lens though. You know, then it would just really feel like you're shooting with an Nikon film camera. You know, Fujifilm lenses have that obviously. I don't know why they couldn't have done that with this camera too. I do like that there's this little aperture window here on the top. It sort of resembles that little window you would have to show you where you're at in your film that you're shooting. So I do like that as a compromise. being a full frame camera, it would have made sense for them to just go with an F mount on this camera body, right? So then you could natively take all of that Nikon vintage glass and have it attach seamlessly to the camera body. I feel like that would make more sense, right? Then you would just be getting even closer to that really film-like experience on a digital camera. Thankfully though, there are adapters like this one that exist. 
designed by Earth, who are also today's sponsor. If you don't know about Earth, they're a community of creators committed to creating functional photography tools while also keeping a positive impact on the planet with their low impact materials. This is a Nikon F to Z adapter. And I'm gonna use this later on in the video with one of my favorite lenses, the Nikkor 105 millimeter. Earth doesn't just make adapters though. They make camera straps, camera bags, and other camera accessories, all made with recycled materials. You can check them out for your photography needs. You can use the code FISAL at checkout and that will get you 10% off your first purchase. Thanks again to Earth for sponsoring today's video. There's a particular feature I really love about this camera, and I wish a lot more camera companies did this with their design, and that is this dedicated black and white mode switch. You know, it's not like you can't set up a custom button on your Fujifilm camera, for example, to, you know, have a black and white mode, but there is something really nice and tactile about just flipping a switch in in black and white mode, you don't have to think about anything else. I think I'm a lot more appreciative of this little feature on this camera because I've been doing so much black and white photography lately.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video with the Nikon FZ. This is a very interesting camera in my opinion, but it is not one that I am going to personally keep. And I say that because I have an X-T5 and this camera is just, it's just too redundant in my own kit. I would have to get rid of my X-T5 and replace it with this camera, which I really don't think there's any reason for me to do that other than, you know, to, to have access to shooting with my Nikon film lenses on a digital camera. Regardless, I really enjoyed shooting with this camera. I would recommend it to anyone who is you know, looking at Fujifilm cameras and seeing what other alternatives are out there. If you already have vintage Nikon glass already, it might be smart to pick up, you know, one of those earth adapters. And then you have all these lenses to use on this camera. Big thanks to Earth again for sending me that lens adapter to use on this camera for this video. I'll have that specific one linked in the description as well as that code that you can use at checkout. Now with that said, I am not going to be selling this or returning it actually going to be giving it to my dad and he's been trying to get back into photography he was the person who got me into photography in the first place letting me use his nikon f way back when i was in high school um that was the camera i i really started to learn photography with so i think this camera will be great for him to get back into the swing of things and he can use those nikon lenses he already has with this camera. Actually, the, the Nikon lenses I have are actually his. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the Nikon ZF. Is it a camera you're interested in getting yourself? Or if you're just, you know, interested in cameras in general, leave a comment below what you think. That's all for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.